Hi 3D Printer Geeks, welcome to Frank's 3D Shop and today we'll take a look at the cheapest 3D printer on Amazon. Yeah, let's take a look. So I've bit the bullet for you guys since Christmas and Black Friday are, are coming and maybe you want a 3D printer I will give you a good reason to buy one so let's do the unboxing of the cheapest 3D printer fully functional out of the box from Amazon Merci. So let's see what's in this box. A box in a box. Ooh, drama. And the second box. Thank you. And then flip it. Flip it real good. E. Power supply. E. Ta da! So it's a 3D printer, an SD card, Allen key, some bracket, a scraper, you keep those eh, you put them in your filament, isn't that cute, can we do something with this thing, cool. Let's make some room for this, uh, this small thing. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> I'm all excited. You know what's fun about this one is it's all in one. You don't have to, you know, screw anything. You don't have to build anything. It's ready to go right away. Made in China. The, uh, no, made in Taiwan. Let's bring you guys closer. Here is the little card. That's it. And now some filament. Okay, my spool is too, is too, is too narrow. That's something to, what I have to fix. Let's go with the white PLA. Yeah, that works. Okay, so let's see this thing print out of the box. Let's do a home. Okay, target 200, target, target 50, okay, good enough, then let's print something, a cat, so let's see what this thing does. Wow, it actually works. <laughs> Okay, so it seems to go fine. Let's do a time lapse. Time nice. Well, let's see if it printed well this little benchy. It's really nice. Temperature was good. There is almost no defect on the shell, just a little bit. Thick is nine, nice. Top is nice. There is no drooping here. No, the bridge is fine. No ringing after the circles it's a nice print
So that's it for me today guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I'm gonna do a series on that printer. Tune it, modify it, make the best work out of it and I will also make available to you all of the settings that I do in uh, Cura because I use Cura to do uh, the export and everything we can do on this printer I'm gonna do. I'm so excited. I really like this little, little printer and I'm, I'm really enjoying to work with this and, and find what it's capable of and what tuning we can do, what upgrades we can do and all of that. So stay tuned for that uh, series coming up uh, during the next weeks. Please subscribe to my channel. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Comments below, uh, give me ideas, suggestions on what to do next or what you would like to see in this channel. That's it. Bye.